Off of the ground. Bitches love the ground. Oh, wait, shit. What's up, guys? It's Jen, and today is Tuesday, and it is 30 degrees outside. Florida girl's not ready for this kind of weather, but I am on my way to the studio right now, and I'm gonna be talking to you guys in a little bit when I get there. Guys, we are finally here. We are here and we are warm, finally out of the cold. Getting iced coffee when it's 30 degrees is not a good idea, but I refuse to drink hot coffee. That's how it is. We are here in the studio and this is GHQ, which stands for Gator Headquarters here at the University of Florida. All last semester I was training so I could be on air. This semester on Tuesday mornings from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., I will be live on air on 95.3 FM. So if you are in the Gainesville area, tune on into 95.3 and you might get to hear my lovely voice in the morning. If you are not in the Gainesville area and you want to hear me on the radio, you can download the GHQ mobile app wherever you get your apps. That's GHQ and just download it and we play all the hits. GHQ is a top 40 station, so you, you're gonna be hearing all your favorites. Right now we've got Breathing from Ariana Grande, later Hot Girl Bummer, Bad Guy, Ride from 21 Pilots, and lots of other classics as well. I'm just gonna be telling you guys a little bit what I've learned about the radio. So if you're ever listening to the radio, you might be hearing the host always saying the name of the station. That's how the station gets you, the listener, to remember to tune in next time. So every single time that I come on air, I'm gonna say, what's up guys, it's Jen. Thanks for jamming with me this afternoon. You're listening to 95.3. Always, always saying 95.3 GHQ. Always putting those words together. So you guys will remember that. And next time you're in the car, you'll be like, what should I listen to? And then you'll be like, oh yeah, 95.3 GHQ. Now a lot of you might be thinking like, I don't even listen to the radio, but you would actually be surprised how many people still do. It's really convenient when you're in your car and you know, setting up your Bluetooth, sometimes it's a lot of decisions in the morning you're like I don't know what playlist to play I don't know what I want to listen to and that's just a lot but because of the radio you can just turn it on and then something's gonna be played and from our end it's important that we're making sure that we're playing something that you want to be hearing we want to make sure that when you do tune into our station we're the station that you stop at we're the station that you stay at we're the station that's gonna be playing your favorite songs and we want to make sure that you can always count on us to make those decisions for you, to make sure that your commute to work, commute to school, is gonna be full of music that you love. Normally, whatever song is at the top of the charts, you're gonna be hearing that all the time because the average commute is about 15 minutes. So we wanna make sure that when you're driving and we grasp that 15 minutes of your time, you're gonna be hearing that number one song. You might be hearing a golden track. Um, a golden track is like a throwback. It's a song that people still love. Like, I write things not tragedies from Panic at the Disco or Party in the USA from Riley Cyrus. They're not gonna play all the time, but we do like to throw in golden tracks every once in a while. The station has like this format and we need to make sure that there's nothing that we're gonna play that you're gonna be like, I don't know this song. Because a, a good amount of the time, I feel like for most people, if you don't know a song, if a song comes on the radio and you're like, I don't know what this is, you're gonna change the station because most of the time, the first time you hear something, you're not gonna like it until you hear it the second time, and the third time, and the fourth time, and that's when you start to really like it because you know the words, you feel involved with what you're listening to. But if it's something new, that's not really what you're looking for on a top 40 station because most of the time you know the top 40 because you hear it all the time. I remember the first time I listened to GHQ, all I heard was Circles from Post Malone. And you can keep complaining that you don't want to hear Circles from Post Malone, but because everybody loves the song and because it's on so much, it only just keeps getting circulated and people start to like it even more. Now, just a little fun fact for you guys, someone who changed the game of radio, someone who did something extremely interesting is Howard Stern. You guys might know Howard Stern. He was a host on America's Got Talent. Something that Howard Stern did that is very different than most people is that Howard Stern actually found a way to capture an audience longer than that average commute time. The average listener of Howard Stern listens to Howard Stern for over two hours. Two hours. People love this show so much. They listen in their car. They get out of their car. They pop in their headphones. They listen at work. They listen all day long. They listen to him because they love him, because they hate him, because he's funny, because he's offensive. He's everything. Howard Stern is very unfiltered, and that's a very popular thing for people to love or hate. Something that's exciting today, today I have an interview later on with someone from 
Frank 2020. So Frank 2020 will be taking place in Gainesville, Florida. Their tagline is, we are connecting communicators, scholars, storytellers, and activists working on the front line of social change. So essentially what the Frank Gathering is, it's a public interest communications focused conference dedicated entirely to social change communications. Thanks for coming in, y'all. This was a great interview. Yeah, I'm so glad I found Frank 2020 on Facebook. Thank you so much for coming to talk to us about it. Thank you so much for having me. I hope to see you all there. It's going to be our best Frank yet. If you do go to a university and you do have a student news station, I would look into it because it's a really cool way to network with people, ask people questions. If there's an organization other than the radio station that you're interested in, you could be like, hey, I heard you guys are recruiting. Do you want to come on the air and talk about that? And then not only do you get to have an experience talking with that person who is directly in charge of recruitment for that organization, but you also get to be the voice for all the other people that are interested in the same thing. It's a really cool way to get people connected. It's also get you connected with people around you. With all that being said, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. If you are interested in listening to me on the radio, remember you can download our GHQ mobile app wherever you get your apps. And I will be on air every Tuesday morning from 7 a.m. until 9 a.m. And trust me, if you think that's early, oh boy do I know it. Boy do I know it. And next week, I will be here live in the studio Tuesday morning. 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. And yeah, it's gonna be my first time on air. So if you wanna listen, download her up. And I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, hit that notification bell so you don't forget and don't miss at any single one of our videos. Thursday, we've got a really cool video for you guys, so I'm really excited for you to see what's next. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.